I think the time is limited. Maybe uh, we will go back to Dr. Lin and uh, Yitim. Please uh, answer a lot of questions for you. <laughs> okay. I will, I will take over your duty to char in charge of uh, Dr. Lin. Okay? okay, we have to finish uh, around 12. Okay, uh, uh, okay. thank you, uh, Yitim. Dr. Lin, okay. Okay. please come back. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Okay. Please. Okay, I start. Uh, I'm sorry, my uh, internet uh, preference. So, uh, 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 okay, I start this uh, from this slide. Another uh, GE anastomosis traditionally is uh, uh, performed by the surgery, but nowadays the uh, the endoscopic techniques has a, a great improvement. So, um, there are some methods to uh, using the endoscopic technique. Today, I focus on the. Yeah, sorry. Today I focus on the uh, use guided method. So uh, the most common uh, application and the indication uh, is to bypassing uh, uh, maglia gastric artery obstruction. So what's the uh, better, the best therapeutic option? Uh, traditionally, the surgery uh, GE is the primary treatment for the uh, gastric artery obstruction. Uh, however, uh, the completion rate is uh, higher compared to the uh, uh, duodenal stenting, but uh, uh, duodenal stenting has some problems because the reinterfacing rate is higher. So recently, the US guided uh, GE uh, is uh, interesting and uh, attractive procedure. Uh, firstly, uh, 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 we can uh, uh, in, in uh, injection the uh, contrast and the water to the uh, jejunum, then uh, US guy uh, under the US guidance uh, we can check the uh, uh, small bar position and uh, to to make a, a, a anastomosis between stomach and uh, uh, and the uh, uh, jejunum. So uh, the uh, the using of the uh, fluoroscopy and the uh, US guidance by the bifrangent uh, uh, by French, the metastan is uh, is uh, created a, a, a newly a fistula between the stomach and the jejunum. So uh, the the this technique is firstly demonstrated by the professor Bill Moner uh, using a five uh, animal model uh, in two thousand eleven and published in two thousand twelve. So you can so you can see the uh, the surgical uh, specimen, you can see the anchoring force of the stand is uh, strong to uh, uh, to close the stomach and uh, the uh, uh, small bowel wall. And in 2000, uh, 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 2015, the professor Idoi is the first uh, one, uh, is the first person to uh, 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 translate the animal study to the uh, a human clinical uh, case. This is a front loop syndrome case. Uh, later, uh, some literature uh, also show the uh, uh, techniques uh, of the G USGE, and uh, the uh, the the first reports uh, the, uh, is from the uh, U.S. Professor Kashyap. He showed the uh, the ten patients. Uh, in this study, and uh, the technical success rate is high, is, uh, is very high, is 90%. Uh, there's no uh, associated adverse event. Uh, in 2016, uh, a similar uh, study of, of, of conducted in multi center and the inter international uh, study. There are totally 26 pa uh, patients. The uh, technical rate is and 92% and the clinical success rate is 85%. In 2016, a Professor Idoi also has demonstrated a similar impressive result and then the, uh, by the uh, uh, a, a new uh, balloon methods called the EPAS technique. The totally 20 patients, the technical success rate is 90%. So according to the meta-analysis, uh, including the uh, uh, benign and uh, malignant gastric obstruction, the uh, technical success rate is 
92%. The uh, clinical success rate is 90%. Uh, uh, the serious adverse event is 5.6%, uh, but the reintervention rate uh, is still uh, 11%. So, uh, uh, some uh, study, uh, an, an international collaborative study uh, to compare the US guy GJ and the uh, laparoscopy GJ. And uh, it is shown the uh, technical success rate uh, is similar, it's not different. But uh, the adverse event is lower in the US GJ uh, group. So uh, another study to, uh, from the USA to uh, compare the USGJ and the duodenal stenting. As you can see, the clinical success rate is higher in the USGE and uh, the uh, standard failure rate is lower in uh, USGE compared to the duodenal stenting. So the current literature uh, as supported the feasibility, efficacy, and the safety of the ESGE. So maybe uh, in the future, the ESGE is the uh, preferred uh, treatment strategy for the gastric outlet obstruction. So I think, uh, I, I think it, uh, uh, bifringent metal stand plays an important role in the ESGE. So uh, there are two types of uh, bifringent uh, metal stand. Uh, it, uh, the first uh, first type is a frail type. Uh, uh, the second type is a uh, 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 lumen opposing type. So as you can see, the high shells and the spaces, spaces uh, uh, is a lumen opposing type. There are two uh, strong uh, uh, fringe uh, have a anchoring, a strong anchoring force. But uh, and, and the, the Frail type including Nagi stand and the uh, acid stand from the Europe. Europe. The, they are two uh, French, but uh, uh, the uh, uh, anchoring force is a little weak. But uh, uh, so in frail type uh, uh, by French uh, metal stand, the, uh, the, the length of the frail type is a very, is longer, but the, uh, uh, but the opening opposing force is, is weak, uh, is weaker. So leading to easy have a stem migration. Uh, in contrast, the lupin uh, opposing type uh, has a limitation in the case of a longer, if the target wall is, is longer than uh, one centimeter and uh, bec uh, because of the the distance between the two fringe is only uh, one centimeter. So if the the target is far away from the stomach, the it's it's uh, it's not uh, reasonable to use the the lumen opposing uh, metal stand. So recently, uh, a new uh, a new design of bi fringe uh, metal stand is called the plumber stand from the Korea. And uh, it can uh, it, it provides the uh, strong uh, by flange, the structure similar to the issues, uh, but uh, it also has uh, a various uh, uh, lens uh, in uh, it's, it's different from it's similar to uh, frail type, but uh, uh, different from uh, the issues only uh, one distance. So it, it may be called a hybrid uh, met, uh, by French metal stand. So as you can see, the uh, there are uh, various sizes, the diameter from 10 to 16 millimeter, the body length, uh, the length between the two French uh, from 12 to 32 millimeter. So uh, the the plumber stand can provide a, a wide lumen uh, diameter and also have a high stability due to the uh, too strong uh, uh, by fringe. So it's, it is allowed to uh, uh, insert a stand uh, upper endoscope into the uh, sister uh, wall to have a, 
uh, uh, necrostectomy. So, and uh, the pelvis then also have a similar uh, delivery system uh, as the conventional biliary uh, metal stand. Uh, the tip is soft and uh, it's not traumatic. And uh, there are uh, totally uh, nine uh, gold uh, radio opaque marker. And uh, at the uh, distal and the proximal and the central points, uh, it helps. It helps for to recognize under the fluoroscopy. Also, it has a, a strong laser. Uh, it's useful to reposition or uh, easy uh, removal of the stain. Uh, one of the unique advantage of the, uh, the this plumber stain is that it is recaptured or resheath uh, during the deployed. As you can see, uh, okay. So there are uh, four steps uh, to have a, a successful deployment. Uh, in step one, uh, make sure the inner radio opaque uh, has passed through the target wall. Then immobilize the uh, in, uh, inner shaft uh, with holding the shaft handle. Then slowly pull the, uh, the, the, the outer sheets uh, to start the deploy the stand until the first uh, first flange is open uh, it's just holding the uh, it's stop the deploy then uh, pull back the the uh, the, sh the shoes and the, the scope and uh, to uh, to uh, backward until the uh, black marker is seen uh, in the endoscopy view then you uh, after a uh, black marker is seen, then the second flange can be deployed uh, to, uh, to open in the stomach. Finally, uh, remove the delivery uh, device uh, gently. Okay, now as, as you can see the video, uh, first flange is open, then uh, uh, pull back the, uh, the, the sheets and the stop to have traction uh, against the wall, then stop the, uh, uh, okay, then they start to uh, the pull the, 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 the sheets and the, so the black marker is seen on the endoscopy view, uh, then start to deploy the second flange. Okay, finally, uh, remove the sheets and the guy wire gently. So the procedure is done. Now I'd like to share a case uh, of a USGJ by using a pump stand. So uh, this is a, a, a 54 year old man. Uh, he under, underwent the uh, a whipple surgery with the root and Y reconstruction for the adenocarcinoma uh, for pancreas head uh, 18 months ago. Uh, he presented one week of the fever and the progressive jaundice. And uh, the, the, uh, he, the, the laboratory data showed the hyperbilirubinemia and the elevation of uh, agrophosphate, gamma GT, and the uh, 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 level. The blood culture yield E. coli. The CT scan showed uh, the, the hyper enhanced uh, tumor at the hepatological uh, site. And then the, also you can see the uh, jejunal loop, F loop is, is markedly dilated in the adjacent to the stomach. So this MICP also showed a similar. Uh, the image, uh, I dilated HD and the dilated FN loop. So the uh, 
the diagnosis of the malignant efferent loop syndrome was, was well established. So then I consulted the Dr. Tanya Pong from Thailand. And she uh, sent me her article and uh, taught me how to manage the efferent loop syndrome. So firstly, I uh, PDCD was uh, down to relieve the cholangitis. Next, uh, I tried to use the uh, anteroscopy uh, 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 assisted luminal stenting, uh, but it failed because uh, the uh, guy wire is uh, cannot pass through the very tight structure. Then next, uh, I uh, use uh, I perform the US guy GJ by the using the proper stand. So my, the uh, accessories including the 19 gauge needle, uh, both the 19 gauge needle and the, uh, no, uh, Olympus, Olympus uh, 19 gauge needle and the Olympus Visigra 2 guide wire and the Cook uh, 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 Fusion Titan uh, dilation balloon and the Cook uh, Cystotomy. Okay. So firstly, the uh, dilated jejun loop was punctured with a uh, 19 gauge needle under US guidance, and then a spray of the, the fluid to confirm the location, then contrast was ingested to confirm the, the, the location. The next uh, guy wire is also in, inserted through the needle. Then the track was dilated uh, under fluoroscopy by passing the uh, cystotomy and uh, the uh, uh, balloon dilator. Uh, then uh, the proper stand was uh, uh, deployed. So after the first uh, French deployed, then we uh, uh, pull back the sheets and uh, you can see the uh, black marker is seen in the endoscopy view. Then we start to uh, deploy the second French. So finally, we remove the, the sheets and the guy wire uh, very slowly. As you can see, there's a less so in the end of the stand. Uh, uh, finally, we uh, take a uh, X-ray to make sure the stand is between the dilated loop and uh, the stomach wall. Three days later, uh, the plumper plant stand is uh, fully expanded and uh, the cholangitis was uh, resolved. So the patient uh, proceeded to chemotherapy uh, sessions. So uh, 16 uh, days later, uh, a CT scan was uh, uh, performed to, as you can see, the stand is uh, remain in the uh in the in the this fistula to have a proper position and the, the stem patency is 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 very good so, and so you, the dilated uh effort loop was decompressed it's a very uh, uh amazing so so nowadays uh, there are uh, uh, totally five uh types uh five fringe uh metal stand on the, on the market in, in, in addition to axials and the Nagi stand, uh, Pamba stand uh, has been approved in Taiwan. And uh, so, uh, as I mentioned, there's some unique uh, advantage of the Pamba stand. They have, they like the, if, uh, uh, they have a, a various size uh, in length and the diameter. Another, uh, as I, I, I mentioned before, uh, high issues uh, is not recapturable, but uh, proper then uh, is recapturable. So uh, if so is is a, a, 
uh, unique advantage when you uh, during the deployment. Okay, the last one is the uh, uh, as you know, uh, Ashes is the name of the river gas from the Greece. The problem is uh, the, the pipe worker, so the price, the cost is different. The car is uh, is uh, the Ashes is a. Uh, uh, 5,000 uh, US dollars. The progress uh, stands cost around 2,000 uh, uh, US dollars. So in conclusion, uh, the um, uh, progress stand and the hybrid uh, by French uh, metal stand uh, is uh, is feasible and uh, safe. So in the treatment for the uh, 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 pseudo system or wall, uh, in addition, uh, uh, we we use the use GE by uh, use the uh, uh, plumber stand, and uh, as you can see, the the case is uh, performed safely and uh, efficiently. Okay, uh, that's my talk. Thanks for your attention. Uh, hope to uh, to see everyone and in uh, especially the the Thailand friends, and uh, after us. Uh, I'm looking forward uh, to see you uh, in person after the uh, COVID-19. Thank you. Okay. Uh, thanks, uh, Dr. Lin's uh, valuable experience. I think this uh, fourth case, uh, U.S. guided uh, therapeutic procedure for a bright loop syndrome at Taiwan. And uh, so far, I think uh, no question for you because it's the fourth case at Taiwan. But I think uh, Professor uh, Ronson, they, they have some experience. Uh, Professor Ronson, can you give some opinion about the procedure for the Brian Loop syndrome? Well, I mean, earlier, since we don't have lamps available, we have to put the you know, enteric stent to solve that. But as he mentioned that to get to the side and try to traverse the structure is quite difficult. But this day, I think, there are many use uh, of this treatment, not only for the blind loop syndrome, but for the patient who got very long Wu on Y. And then we can get this as the access to go and do mm -hmm. standard or therapeutic ERCP. So in our latest experience that we have shifted from doing the balloon assisted uh, ERCP to, you know, the lamb assisted. Uh, you know, ERCP more. In, in the past, usually uh, the patient with Blylut syndrome uh, is not very often, but I, I think this is one of the best approach. And interestingly, compared to gastrogenostomy, the loop is usually is fixed because of adhesion. So we don't have to worry much about the leakage uh, during uh, the you know, stent placement. So I would say that, uh, and also this, they, are, they are generally dilated so no need to still uh, spill the fluid inside like you perform gastrogenosomy. So I, I, I think Brian syndrome this day is the best treated by lambs, as he mentioned. Very good, very good cases. Okay, thanks, uh, Professor Longson. And the, I think the, there are one question for Dr. Lin. Okay, he has answer on the, on the chat room. So now Tom just uh, Tom is is just up. So uh, I will close today's uh, a meeting webinar, and uh, thanks all of you to uh, join. Uh, thanks our president uh, Zhang. Thanks Professor Rongsen's very great talk and opinion. Thanks uh, uh, Dr. Lin to charge the section and also our speaker uh, Dr. Lin and Dr. Guo. And uh, I especially thanks uh, our uh, uh, Taiwan uh, TPEC uh, support this meeting and also uh, Crystal View Company of Taiwan. Uh, the Vice President uh, Vincent Liao, he, he uh, give a great support and a very nice uh, webinar. And also we give a very uh, high support from MI Tech Company. I, I I suppose the uh, MI Tech uh, stand will be available and uh, popular soon at Taiwan. And even today, we have a lot of uh, friends from Thailand, uh, maybe Korea, 
and uh, also uh, Professor uh, Nakai, he also joins this meeting and the summit is from Singapore and uh, uh, Malaysia. So all the friends can join the study of the uh, uh, multi-hole st uh, stand or other stand. And then maybe next time we can exchange between country to exchange more experience. And uh, okay, uh, Ronson, any talk for us? Any words for us? Oh, uh, many thanks, Shupo. I, I, I believe the Taipei team has done the best, including the uh, Crystal Company. And this is my pleasure to join this uh, very fruitful meeting. And I think all the speakers have done well. And in terms of the, I think, very enthusiastic question, and uh, we learn from each other as uh, you know usual. So uh, good to see you on this uh, uh, Sunday again. So I hope to have this uh, similar meeting uh, sometime very soon. Okay, thank you. Uh, I wish your name as Mohawa also, Dr. Zhang, Professor Zhang. Okay. 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 Yeah, okay. Yeah. okay. At last, I thank everybody join in the very uh, uh, good uh, Sunday morning. And uh, thank you. We will see you soon, maybe uh, later. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.